My name is Kelly Papel, Technical Manager for Invino Engineering, LLC, based in Florida, USA. Today I want to talk about understanding steam piping NPT connections and avoiding premature failures, part one of a three-part series. NPT connections in a steam and condensate system Steam leakage plagues steam systems worldwide. And the number one cause for steam and condensate leakage is NPT connections. And there's a number of reasons for this, which we'll discuss in this presentation. Top cause I want of steam and condensate leakage, as I said before, threat of connection failures. One steam leak can cause the plant well over $2,000 a year energy loss. Besides, it contributes to safety issues, reliability issues, operational issues. It has much more dynamics to it. So the last thing we want is failures or leakage in the system. Typically, we say the plant can only have two leaks per year maximum. But how to get you know, rid of premature leakage is understanding NPT connections. Reason using for NPT connections, number one, cost, cost. Alternatives, welding. Yes, welding does have a higher cost. I have to have a welder and assistance for Wi Fire Watch. The welder is going to be a skilled person certified to weld in steam and condensate systems per B31.1. Flanges. People tell me that flanges leak. Flanges do not leak. People make flanges leak. When you put a flange in, you need to know the torque spec of the bolts and the torque pattern. The other thing, flanges only take up axial movement. So you have, if you have something other than axial movement, you must guide the pipe. Not support the pipe, but guide. NPT is used for two inch and smaller diameter pipe. Never use NPT on three inch or larger piping systems. That's just too difficult. You know, a welding or flanges are a much better way of making the connection. Here's some of the issues that plague the steam and condensate system. Poor quality threads and threaded components. Being on a job site a few weeks ago, testing the uh, threaded connections, the threaded pipe, nipples, and components, probably 60% of the threads did not meet spec. It's terrible. The other thing is limited training. I mean, are the people actually trained and do they have a st standard procedure how to make a thread, install a thread? It, it takes training. Inconsistent installation standards. If you survey 20 different people, how to put in a NPT connection or even make an NPT connection, you probably get 20 different answers. That's absurd. The main design focus for any steam and condensate system must be to prevent steam and condensate leakage. Well, our teams put in steam and condensate. Our focus is not to have leakage. Therefore, we have to look at all aspects of our connections. Reasons for NPT connection usage. Personnel installing the NPT connections. Comes back, you can have anybody install an NPT connection. And it's a variety of people from maintenance technicians, maintenance personnel, pipe fitters, even general work personnel. There's no codes governing the qualifications of a person installing an NPT connection, unlike welding. And we assume that everyone can install components using NPT connections successfully. They can install, 
But is it, if it's going to be successful or not? That's the question. You know, new installations, we get into steam leakage and we go out there and we find a variety of installations because there is no standards. People are not following written procedures or have been trained how to do this correctly. As I said before, the reason for using NPT, costs. You know, the components, there's a variety of components and the components that are coming into North America are coming in from all over the world at different sources and all over the world. There are different standards for NPT connections and that presents a major problem. Therefore, you know, there must be a buying specification to buy these components. We don't buy them on price. You have to stop buying them on price because we don't know if they're, the devices are meeting the specifications for NPT threads or not. Labor. I mean, like we talked before, anybody can install NPT connection. But if you look at this installation as shown in this picture, there's over 20 NPT connections. Figure out how long that takes to make that up. You know, this happens to be a steam trap stations. And steam trap stations with technology today, you really should have no more than four connections. And typically we're looking at two connections with the technology that's available today instead of over 20. Every NPT connection is a possible leak point and we don't want leak points in the system. Understanding NPT, American National Pipe Thread Connection. Yeah, NPT are US National Technical Standards for Screwed Threads Used on Threaded Pipe and Pipe Fittings. NPT standard includes tapered and straight thread series for various purposes. Steam and Kase, we only use taper thread, it is the preferred choice. The NPT taper thread design allows a male and female ends to form a seal during proper torquing processes. And we'll discuss this in other series about the torquing process. But remember one thing, the threads do the sealing. The threads do the sealing. Yes, we use lubricant, not sealant, lubricant, to allow the threads come in and seal. Mating threads are designed to do the sealing and prevent any leakage without using sealant or lubricant materials, which we just talked about. Two standards that govern the majority of taper pipe threads are NPT, and we have the British standard paper thread, which is the BSPT. Now, the two are not compatible. So if you have BSPT, you cannot use NPT. So they're not compatible. North America NPT is used for more than 98% of the steam and condensate application. And it's important that everyone's aware of these different thread types because we purchase components internationally. So we have components coming in from all over the world. We need to make sure that we are compatible. Other parts to this NPT series that you'll be hearing in a video is how to know if the NPT thread meets specifications, NPT connection premature failure, manufacturing NPT connections, training, installation, and of course, corrosion. Our website has multiple uh, uh, information, applications, and technical support. Uh, this here will be in the presentation and be our capabilities. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Have a great day. Listen to part two and part three of this series. If you have any questions, please contact.